Hey everybody, it's the doll boy and today I'll show you how my sister and I created these awesome backgrounds for my new dolls. For the first background we used some watercolor paints that we were gifted by Arteza. To match the colors of my puppy Rowan doll we selected several shades of pink and orange. To get the paper ready to create the artwork, my sister taped the paper to the table to have a nice and sturdy base. Then to prepare the paper, she used a brush to wet down the paper to get the best color blend. As a base for this background, she created a watercolor background in several shades that really resemble Poppy's hair and outfit. With that soft orange, pink and a little bit of yellow. In this step, it's all about having fun, blending the colors and just adding some water to create lighter areas and then add extra pigment to increase the color payoff in some other parts. These Arteza products are really great and my sister is a big fan of these paints because there's a lot of different colors and types of paint available and it applies to the paper really easily. If you want to create some nice backgrounds using Arteza products as well, you can simply use the link in the video description and use the coupon code THEDOLLBOY10 for 10% off your purchase. As you can see, while working with these watercolor paints, my sister is also keeping her paintbrush wet to make sure all the colors blend together really well. Then when that's done, we're still gonna add some more detail to this background, which I'll show you later, because first, this watercolor art has to dry. While waiting, we started planning out our next background, which was gonna be a rainbow splatter effect. We started by measuring out where we wanted each color to go to make sure all colors would be equally represented. For the rainbow colors, we used these gouache paints. Because we wanted all the colors to be really nice and bright, we used the red, yellow, green, blue and purple from the Arteza gouache set we got. But for that true bright orange, we used their watercolor paint. For this background, I really wanted that paint splash effect. So my sister started by wetting the paper in specific areas and then adding the gouache paint to those spots. She also started watering down paints for a more pastel color and then layering that with the pure paint for more dimension. She does the same thing for the next color, making sure the colors are blending into the ones next to each other, but also keeping each color separate enough to still have a very defined rainbow. To add a little extra variety in this rainbow, we also added some real paint splatters. By adding paint to the brush, and then tapping it above the paper. If you're gonna do this as well, make sure to cover your table, because this will get a little messy. Honestly, with this rainbow, each color amazed us in how beautiful they looked as they went onto the paper, which was such an exciting feeling for the both of us. 
then after adding even more paint splatters, we have our rainbow background all done. This background is such a fun way to display my completed wave 1 of the rainbow high dolls. If you want to see more of my doll reviews, make sure to check out the one I posted already. And for my Skylar Bradshaw review, subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when I post that video next week. After finishing that background, we went back to the orange and pink one, because we really wanted to bring that one to the next level by adding some really cool butterfly details. For this, Arteza sent us some really nice and precise miniature brushes. For the butterflies, my sister used this metallic acrylic paint in gold, because that really matches the color scheme for Poppy with the golden accents she has in her outfit. Before committing to the actual doll background, we did take a smaller piece of paper for some test butterflies until we were satisfied with the look we managed to create. For the butterflies, we decided to keep them pretty small so they would look good in scale with the doll. For that really nice effect of the butterflies, my sister made sure that all the butterflies would be facing a different direction, as if they were really flying around the background. Then to really make it pop, she took a black fine liner to accentuate the bodies of the butterflies. And then for some variation between each butterfly, she also outlined some of the wings completely with the same black fine liner. And that completed both of my new doll backgrounds. I really hope you liked these backdrops for my dolls and the video about how to make them. I'm really curious which of these two is your favorite, so make sure to leave a comment down below to let us know. If you want to create some of these doll backgrounds as well, and you're interested in the Arteza products, make sure to use the links in my description and use the coupon code THEDOLLBOY10 while checking out to get that 10% discount. This code is available until the 15th of December, so make sure to get that discount before my code expires. Also, please subscribe to my channel for upcoming doll videos and follow me on Instagram as well if you want to see more pictures I create with my dolls at the doll boy. See you next time!